Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters If you're watching this video and it's the last time Please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please check out the description section of this video to support the channel A channel member sent me a disturbing clip of a podcast Where a disgusting cam girl that makes adult content Wore a hijab and claimed that she is a Pakistani Muslim She also made absolutely unforgivable and satanic comments About committing zina in a mosque Astaghfirullah I was in two minds about doing this video Because I didn't want to give this filthy woman in any promotion whatsoever and also due to the vulgar nature of the topic. But I have to warn the brothers and sisters that are parents against number one, not allowing your daughters to be left to any non-Muslim influences so they end up living wasted lives of sin and self-destruction like this broken evil woman. And number two, to shame any weirdo guys, especially if you are Muslim, that you are repulsive if you support such vulgar content on despicable sites like OF or anywhere else for that matter. Imagine it was your sisters, mothers or daughters on those sites. Would you still support it? So this cam girl basically a prostitute goes on a degenerate podcast where even the non-Muslim men presenters thought she was crossing the line. Let's take a look at the clip. So are you Muslim? Yeah, 100%. The way, wait, wait, so you're Muslim, mm -hmm. you do OnlyFans, mm -hmm. pregnant... Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do they all correlate into you being Muslim? How well, I mean, that I just got to pray five times a day. I can make on between that, surely. Maybe fast occasionally. So I could pray five, five times a day and I'm a Muslim. You just have to say the Shahada. If you're Muslim, you can't do OnlyFans. Just like you can't eat bacon, right? But I am. I am doing it. Do you eat bacon? Yeah. So you just say Bismillah Rahman Rahim before you eat it and that's it. fine, yeah. So you wear your hijab whilst you do OnlyFans? Occasionally, yeah. Is that not against the religion? Why would it be against the religion? Should it be against the religion to take the hijab off? I lost my virginity in Pakistan. But in Pakistan, it's actually illegal to have sex before marriage. I can't remember the sentence. I don't know if it's life or if it's death. I can't actually remember what sentence what? is. We couldn't have sex because we'd get caught and arrested. So I thought, where's the one place where people wouldn't look? And it was a mosque. So you had sex in a mosque? On the roof of a mosque. The roof was really rubbly. So I took a prayer mat with me and I was like, I'm going to put this down. You ha lost your virginity yeah. on top of a mosque, mm -hmm. on top of a prayer mat. Mm -hmm. At Maghrib time as well. Don't know like what the Azan was playing in the background. So what, do you see a lot of Muslims then? A lot, like 30% of my client base is probably Muslim. Do they have any weird requests when they come see you? Um, a lot of it's blasphemy a lot of the time, believe it or not. Well, what's blasphemy? What do blasphemy you mean? is like, they want to denounce Allah. They want to denounce the Quran. Which mm -hmm. part of Islam do you follow? Because I'm not seeing much of it. I'm wearing a hijab, aren't I? Oh, uh, is that it? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and I celebrate Eid. My apologies for the vulgar content. Again, my intention is to not promote such things, but instead to make it clear the shameless woman does not represent Islam. This wretched woman also made claims about eating bacon, drinking alcohol, and sinning between prayers, basically to mock our religion for clout. And it's not every day that I find myself agreeing with cultural Muslim Myron, but even him as a host of a similar provocative and degenerate show that deals with these types of women as guests was disgusted and asked for this woman to be stoned, which would be her punishment in a Sharia country. In the comments, many people said this morning monstrous women can't be Pakistani or can't be a Muslim. And they may be right, but she could also be one of those weird bottom-feeding cultural Muslims that go out of their way to degrade their religion at birth just to gain acceptance from non-Muslim nobodies because their self-esteem is so low. You know the type, their self-haters, they hate and are embarrassed of their race and religion and they have an inferiority complex which makes them pander to non-Muslim Westerners. And let's be honest, a lot of these types of people come from either Pakistani, Irani or even Indian backgrounds. Although this type of self-hatred and pandering to the Kuffar is not only limited to those ethnicities. It extends to other people of colour also. What kind of woman says these things, and even worse, says them in public on a podcast? Muslim or non-Muslim, this is not how women should speak or act. And as for her disgusting comments about committing zina in a mosque, I have no sympathy for any repercussions she faces unless she repents. She's inviting trouble on herself just for clout. It just further reaffirms that these people are irrelevant losers that need to use our religion for relevance because they have nothing else to offer. I honestly can't understand why men support these types of women. Honestly, what is wrong with you? Firstly, she is morally corrupt and her character is demonic. Secondly, she's not even attractive. I'm very fortunate that both my husband and I were guided by Allah SWT to change our lives and live in accordance with Islam and that we are dedicated to having an Islamic environment in our home so that our children do not end up like this broken hag. And I advise all of you, the viewers, to do the same, especially if you live in the West. Take no chances whatsoever with your children. Do not have your kids in secular schools that contradict Islam. Don't allow them to listen to music or to watch TV that promotes non-Muslim values and make sure you're praying your salah and reading Quran on a daily basis in front of them so they emulate that as well as teaching them how to pray salah and read Quran from a very young age. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join my free telegram group via the link in the description where we as Muslims can speak freely and without censorship about issues like this. And remember to like, subscribe and become a channel member for access to exclusive content. Until next time, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.
Allah